Hi, my name is Smith Keurig, and for my capstone, I'm going to be making my own homemade ice cream. One of the most important things to do when you're cooking in general is first you wash your hands, and I have my hair up just to avoid any possible things that could get in the ice cream. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to add one and a half cups of milk. Um, typically, the best used milk is fat, like not fat-free milk. Because when you use like skim, 1%, 2%, that's typically where the ice cream will develop like the crystals on it, like frost, freezer burn. <laughs> the next step we're going to add is a quarter cup of heavy cream. Um, typically, you would want to use this as opposed to some, some recipes use evaporated milk or condensed milk in substitution for those who don't want as much fat in their ice cream. However, ice cream gets its name from the cream, so you want as much fat as possible to get the best flavor. The next thing I'm gonna add is a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. I personally measure my vanilla over it in case it goes over it, like that. And that way you get, you don't spill. Typically all ice cream bases are vanilla and to get to the chocolatey you add stuff. So I'm going to make my ice cream flavor is chocolate and I'm going to add some chocolate chunks, maybe some Heath bar if I'm feeling fancy. So I'm going to do a quarter, a half a teaspoon of chocolate syrup as well to get the chocolate flavor. The next thing we're going to add is about a half cup of sugar. We'll put that in slowly. From here, we're going to whisk all the ingredients together so that way it's combined thoroughly so when it goes into the bag for when it forms into ice cream, that way there's no chunks of flavor, there's no extra little sugar pockets that happen sometimes. And since I'm not making it with an ice cream maker, this part is super important because the ice cream maker, maker typically does the churning and whatnot. Another important thing is when you look at it, you get to see kind of the coloring you want, and I can already tell from the color of this that there's not enough chocolate, so I'm going to add more chocolate syrup. Just to make sure that everything is mixed, I'm taking a spoon and I'm going to like lift it up and see if there's any clumps of sugar that I need to break up, which sometimes happens, and also it helps mix the chocolate in more. At the darker the color, the more chocolatey it's going to taste. It's similar to like chocolate milk. And some people like their chocolate milk very chocolatey. I myself do. And from this, the mixture is done. The next step is to transfer it into our, our bag, which is going to go inside of another bag. So we want to make sure that there's no holes or anything because we wouldn't want any of the mixture leaking out into the thing. Next thing we're going to do is make our little at home ice cream maker. You start with a little bit of ice and then you add a half cup of rock salt. The salt is what's important in the bag because it's going to lower the temperature. In a actual ice cream churner or anything like that, um, the ice cream goes through heating and cooling at simultaneously in order to create the texture that it comes out in before you freeze it. So this is going to help keep the bag at a reasonable temperature when we're shaking it. Here is where we add our mixture. We put it in the bag. And then we take our remaining ice that we have and we kind of layer it over. So that way the bag is completely covered in ice all around it. And from here we're going to shake for about five minutes and like aggressively shake. Imitating, imitating the movement of um, the churning that goes on in a regular ice cream maker. Okay, it has been five minutes. It is time to take out our ice cream and it has become more like a saucer consistency. And from this, I learned that I'm thankful that I don't have to viciously shake a bag of ice for five minutes and that we have ice cream makers. Okay, now that it's done, we're gonna pour it into a bowl and serve it to my family. So, yeah. there you go. It was yummy. 
flavor is it? Oh, Marley wants some too? Yep. Oh, it's good, it's a chocolate. Hmm. You've got a cat in your hand. Tell me a cat that likes it too. 